Saroj, you played actually a role uh, on uh, behalf of Apple in terms of both looking at the research, but also uh, possibly validating some of the suppliers and going through that chain. So can you share some high level insights from that? Uh, sure, sure, I'm ha happy to. So first of all, you have to realize that all these big companies, they want the batteries to be a non-problem. So we in the battery industry, we think it is our life and it is our life. But for them, uh, you are a problem, they want to disappear, okay? So you have to think from their perspective. So from that perspective, the first thing to look at is your production capacity. Um, above cost and other things, can you really uh, produce what they want and uh, whether you can satisfy at least 50% or 60% of the requirement? And the second thing to look at, which is conjugate to this, is can you expand? as the uh, large company expands its product line, they have a, typically a you know, product uh, lineup in future and so on. Uh, can you scale? Do you, do you have the lines to do that? Or how long does it take for you to set up a line uh, for you to satisfy the demand? So those are the first things uh, they look at. The, 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 the second most important thing they look at is the quality control. Because uh, the batteries are basically chemical plants in a closed loop which is a very, very bad thing to do, especially for a lithium battery. Um, so, uh, so, so quality and safety are very, very important. Uh, people have learned their lessons for not paying attention to that. Um, so, the, so, the, so the big companies are, are very, very intent on understanding how you uh, uh, control your quality. Do you have a TQM process in place or not? And what are your mitigation plans uh, when something goes wrong? Um, and basically, they want to look at the cost of quality. They, they want to make sure that you understand the cost of quality. Uh, then the third thing comes uh, to really the financial stability of the company. Uh, if you are a startup company, you are in a serious disadvantage. Uh, if you're a very large company, they want to know, you know, your, your, what your book looks like, or, you know, what, what fraction of, uh, of your business would uh, Apple or Samsung, whatever be. Um, and what kind of investors you have behind you, and uh, you know how, how how strong is your accounts? And then the then then the last thing they will look at is actually the cost. People think the cost is a primary factor, but for the large companies, not because they know they can drive the cost down by volume. They have the economy of scale, so so that's the, that's a non-issue for them. They will they will twist your arms to to get to the cost point that everybody else is. So there is no exception there. And, and one minor thing uh, that they look at is also the IP protection, because when you, when you make, typically when you work with these large companies, you're making something specific for them, something custom for them. And, uh, and all these companies want to be kind of ahead of the curve by 12 to 18 months. So, so they will teach you something and uh, you'll tell them something. So that conversation, that intellectual property, you, you call it more like know-how rather than anything else. They want it to be uh, exclusive. And they want to make sure that you have uh, certain checks and balances in place in your workforce so that uh, that IP is protected at least for 18 months. These are the main five things that they'll be looking for. Back to you, Al. Great. So I think, Saroj, thank you. That was uh, very uh, helpful.